Hello, everyone. Hello. It's been a couple days. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're all doing much, much better than I've been. <laughs> Man, I got so sick out of nowhere, dude. I ended stream the other night, and soon after I ended stream, I ate some food. Wife had made some uh, some meatballs for meatball subs in the crock pots, and it's not something that I've had in literally years because it's always been problematic for me for my for my stomach. So for the first time, I was having one of my favorite things in the world, and then within an hour after that. I got severely sick. It wasn't from the food itself. It's a little bit of a sickness that's been going through the household. Um, my buddy Daz's wife and their child got sick with it a few days ago. We thought it was food poisoning because of, you know, just kind of the circumstance of it. Turns out it was not food poisoning. It was some type of viral thing that was going around. And uh, yeah, I ended up getting it. So did Daz. Him and I both got severely sick the same day, right after stream. And, uh, yeah, that's where I've been. That's where I've been. That's why I've not streamed the last couple days, so I apologize about that, guys. But we're back. We're here. Um. Yeah. Hello, Josh. What is your favorite type of soda slash drink? I am very fond right now of carbonated water. A brand called Liquid Death. They have very lightly flavored carbonated water that gives me that carbonation fix because I do enjoy carbonated drinks. I enjoy the fizziness, you know, but it is water. So, you know, it helps. It's not the greatest as far as hydration goes. Like obviously pure water by itself is better, you know, something without carbon dioxide in it, you know, but you know, I enjoy it all the same. That's my current favorite thing. I like flavored carbonated water. Liquid death is pretty good stuff, man. I've been enjoying it a lot. Uh, but I am, um, I'm, I'm certainly not 100%, guys. Why does the music seem so loud? I'll turn it down a little more. I'm certainly not 100%, but I am better than what I was a couple days ago, so we're here for now. Uh, I'm just gonna stream until I'm far too tired to do so. I am very low energy as it is, as you guys can probably tell by the sound of my voice. I've barely spoken the last few days. And I am just so tired. I have... This is going to sound weird as well, but I've actually slept a lot the last couple of days. I'm not, my my mind is able to just kind of let my let my body go to sleep. So that's been, that's been kind of nice. But, uh, yeah. Hey, Sassy. Watching from Australia. Nice. Really enjoyed your Starfield playthrough. Great content. Keep up the awesome work. Thank you so much, Sassy. I appreciate the kindness. Thank you. Full Metal Owl, thank you for the two pounds. Time to get down with the juiceness. <laughs> thank you for the two pounds. Welcome back, Owl. Hope you're doing good. Who do I see in chat? I see Miffit Blue, Just James, Richard Cole, Greybeard, Shuda, Yuda, Suzanne, Elgernon, Nimrod, Majin Kai, Lisa Y. Uh, I see James Long, Degree, Juka, Auto Intoxication, Bensi Boy, Liquid Death is Fire. I agree. It's good stuff. Avalanche, Dadang. Who else do I see? Richard Cole, Fed Donovan, GBRC, Vanessa, Elgernon. Thank you for the two bones. Welcome back, Juice. Thanks, bud. Thank you for the two. I appreciate it. Thank you. Vin B. What's up, Bruno? Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're all doing well. Corleonis, hello. Welcome back. Caught up with your live streams. Noticed that you did miss a dagger. I may have. I may have. I, I know that I have not collected everything. In fact, I, I believe there's an entirely different path that I did not take. So that's a possibility there. But yeah. But again, I, as always with my first playthroughs, I don't ask for tips. I don't take in backseat gaming. I just kind of do things my own way. And whatever I find is what I find. What's up, Tiny PP? Svensson? What's up, Norby? I just finished the game after 41 hours. Very nice. Very nice. Hope you had a good time with it. Hey, Donna. Just got done free the blacksmith. Killed the boss with the bow and the dogs. Nice. Nice. The Houndmaster. Very cool. 
Let's hop in the game. Let's see where we left off. Let's see where we left off here. Where am I? Who am I? What have I done? Oh, I, I know right where I am. Okay, so this area has those uh, those mages that are kind of tough. So that's a thing. Oh, boy. Hey, Bren, what's up? So, yeah, I'm going to be sharing this, uh, this news a couple times throughout the day. Uh, just so you guys know, I do have two dental appointments, one tomorrow morning and then another on the 23rd. And because of the nature of dental work and the uncertainty of, you know, every, everyone's body is different, I'm not sure how sore I'm going to be after the dental work I am getting done is going to make me. So I don't know if and how long I'll be streaming on these days and the subsequent days because of recovery time. Um, I really shouldn't even be streaming now, but considering I just wasn't for two days, I wanted to pop on for a while, make sure everyone is aware of what's up. You know, I, I'm not just like randomly vanishing. It's just, you know, I've got stuff going on. I, I've got a lot of things <laughs> going on in real life right now. So I've got a couple dental appointments over the next few days on the 19th, which is tomorrow, and then the 23rd. I'm not sure how sore the dental work is going to make me, and therefore I am uncertain as to whether I'll be streaming through this or not, because, you know, talking might hurt a little bit. Talking might hurt a little bit. Wisdom teeth, not quite the wisdom teeth yet, but I am going to be getting my wisdom teeth removed. I need to schedule an appointment for this still, uh, but first I got to go through some other stuff before that can happen. Um... So yeah, if you haven't joined up on the Discord, make sure you do so that way you can stay up to date on everything going on. That way you'll know exactly where I am and what the plans are. Uh, you can find a di the Discord link in the description down below, as well as if you're in, during, in the live chat, you can type exclamation mark Discord to get a link from Nightbots. Yes. Yes. Hey, Josh Meadows. Thanks, bud. Mythic Blue, thank you for 11 months of membership. Glad you're feeling better. Only do what you can. We'll be here. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It means a lot. I've seen some other builds which are so strong, they are clearly not as good as you as a player, but they just dominate bosses. <laughs> I mean, you know, maybe they're better than me because they're able to identify better things and not make bad choices like choosing to stick with daggers out of sheer will. <laughs> maybe I have more willpower, but they're more intelligent and in making better in-game choices, you know? We all have our ups and downs. <laughs> Mifit Blue, thank you for five gifted members to the community. That means a heck of a lot right now as well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for five gifted members, Mifit Blue. Very kind. Now, despite all this bad news, despite all this bad news, guys, I do have some great news. You guys may recall uh, three-ish weeks ago, I mentioned that I have some very high stress situations going on um, that I was not able to talk about at the time. Well, my mom um, went to her doctor and they found that her thyroid had randomly become extremely enlarged. And their first thought, rightfully so, was cancer. So they did a biopsy on her thyroid. Got the results back in yesterday and the results are benign, which is good. Which is good. So my mom does not have cancer. And that was the situation that I was... Uh, you know, freaking out about a few weeks ago that I didn't want to talk too openly about until, you know, things were 100% confirmed. So, good news. Thumbs up. Mom does not have cancer. We're, we're pleased about this. We are pleased. We are very, very happy. Now, let's go die to some of these crazy enemies. Thank you again, Mythic Blue. Oh, lasers! Man, that thing barely hit me. Lies of P or Lords of the Fallen? I think I've played Lords of the Fallen enough to officially say this. <laughs> I just got sniped through this tiny hole! What the hell? 
I think I've played Lords of the Fallen enough to say this. I enjoy Lies of P more. I think Lies of P is an overall better game. The only thing that I like in Lords of the Fallen more is the atmosphere. I think the atmosphere in this game is superior. And that's not to say that the atmosphere of Lies of P is bad because it is good. I just think that the darker atmosphere here is more interesting. But outside of that, everything gameplay oriented and music oriented, I think goes towards Lies of P. Oh my shit, dude. Holy hell, man. I'm pretty sure I did this already, but let's do it again to be sure. ways to make these people see that what I do is what's best not just for this kingdom but the whole world I know a deer and the rogue are better than anyone yeah playmaker I'm and enjoying the game the temerity to question me to condemn my actions I wonder what you'd say to me now if you could I miss your wise counsel but your presence still brings me strength right we have this now now the strength to do what must be done. Even if it has to The delay. See me sign. All right, the hitboxes on these uh, statue ladies are a little bit broken. My daggers keep missing them. You see that? I'm getting a lot of dead swings here. Okay, okay. Okay, dude. Elgernon, thank you for the $2 super chat. Hearts and chat for Mama Juice? Yeah, hearts and chat for Mom. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Elgernon, thank you for the $2, dude. Bren, thank you for the five. We stand moms in the chat, and then another five says, wait. Phrasing. No, you're right, dude. We stand moms. <laughs> Bren, thank you for the five and the five. And Elgernon, thank you for the two. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. What's up, Shark? We're getting there, man. We're getting there. Dead swings. What I mean by that is some of my swings are not dealing damage. Sometimes one of the daggers will miss, and then on some swings occasionally, both daggers will miss. This area is something, man. After not playing the game for a couple days, I'm definitely out of my element here. Oh, dude, I don't... What? Okay, so here's my issue with that. <laughs> I'm playing against an aimbot mage, and let me let me show you my stats. I have 44 vitality. 44 vitality, as you can see down there. That means I have 840 max health, and that thing barely touching me for half a second instantly kills me. instantly kills me. What?
it's supposed to be, uh, you know, this type of uh, attack is supposed to be like a sustained type of damage. It's supposed to be like something like the longer the, the laser hits you, the more damage it does. Not if it barely touches you, it instantly nukes you like that. Oh my god. Like this, uh, this enemy just seems absolutely busted. I and it's hitting me through the wall. There's no hole there. It hit me through a spot where there's no hole. <laughs> What's up, Screamer? Yeah, so that's... Um, I don't think that's supposed to happen. But before, before we carry on, let me throw on some other gear. Maybe get myself some more holy defense. Maybe that will help. More holy defense, please. More holy defenses. Oh, there we go. Oh, that is one ugly Pope hat, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, there's a lot of holy defense, but it's going to make me medium roll. But you know what, dude? It might it might be worth it just so we don't get nuked. Because my god. My god. See me soin. Oh my god, I look like a clown. Whatever, we're going. We should be able to survive more than a half second of being lasered by that bullshit now. Yeah, we can't play Lords of the Fashion anymore, man. We have to actually use these for defense stats. Alright, don't one-shot me. Don't one-shot me. Don't one-shot me. Oh, it, did, it didn't one-shot me that time. It still did a shitload of damage, but it didn't one-shot me. Oh my god. Whew. Hey, Shark, they give you the six euros. Survive holy damage, insta-killed by the fashion police. Yeah, right? Either way, I'm in trouble here. Ah, oh, a dead swing. No, this is not ideal. I really wish you wouldn't teleport so much. I need to somehow separate them a little bit. Thanks again, Shark. We got another one of those swords and a large Duralium shard. We got some big chicken nuggets, dude. Some big chicken nuggies. Now, we, there's another pair of them right up this way, and I have to imagine there's going to be another pair on this side, too. Let's go ahead and exit this uh, umbral realm for now. 
What's up, Steve? What's up, Dibble? Better than Dead Space? This better than Dead Space? No way. I enjoy I enjoy Souls likes, but no. <laughs> nah. Okay, there's not one this way, but this is also no path, so we must go the other way. Shark, thank you for another six euros. I've heard of a camelback. What the hell is a candleback? I have no idea. I have no idea. What 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 does this mean? It's you, and then the third one over there. Will they wake up if I just kind of keep walking? I want this chest. Yep, they woke up. Empyrean Church Key. Okay, now where's the Empyrean Church door, damn it? Oh, get me out of here. I'm tired of fighting these things. The church door is probably out there, right? The big door outside. Oh, boy. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, all right. Ooh. Unlock the gates. My character looks so ridiculous, man. Empyrean doors must be in the lands between. I think of that every time, too. Um. Oh, good. Some more of these. I guess I need to go get some healing because I have no health. Oh, my lasers. You know what the crazy thing is, too, is like all these enemies out here are not giving me very many souls. So they're not even really worth taking out. Nope, no new daggers yet, Jerzel. Oh <laughs> my god. From so far away. This open world or linear based? It's linear, but it seems open world based on, like, how it all works. Josh Meadows, thank you for the gifted membership to Kanhoto Andre. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Nice costume? Yeah, thanks. I like to wear candles on my shoulders. What's up, Sloan? All right, let's try to get in here. We got to run past these mages. He may be five pounds lighter and a little dehydrated, but Juice returns. Oh, yeah, we're here. <laughs> we're here. How's it going, Janet? Oh, my lasers. you oof oof What are you doing? Oh, right. You have this nonsense. Erg. Oh. Oh, 
Hiya. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Man, I am just lacking damage. Oh, another one of these hats. Neat. I am just lacking damage so much. Okay. Would you say this game has any sort of replayability? Yeah, there's a lot of different ways you can build a character in this. Yeah. Just gonna grab this item. Now, I know you guys are gonna wake up, but I'm just gonna go. I don't want to fight you. I'm actually tired of fighting that type of enemy. Oh, look, there's more of them. This must mean something. I mean, I guess I can plant one of these here. I think this is worth it just so we can kind of get past all this and stay beyond it. Yeah, guys, do me a big favor. Thank you for leaving a like on the video. We're already at 100. If you haven't left a like yet, make sure you do. Oh, good, a boss. Oh, goody. No, Dibble, like I said, I like all lies of P more. Aberrant child. You will know peace. Yeah, I know you from the trailer. That is one stiff banner. What the hell? Judge Cleric, the Radiant Sentinel. All right. Shark, thank you for the six. Josh defeats two enemies game. It's been seven hours and 15 days. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Okay. Okay, that was fast. Man, that is that that happens fast. Ooh. Hey, I'm not even alive yet. You're just swinging away. Come on, man. Ah, 
Somehow a little early on that. Why are you laughing at me? That's not very cash money of you. Okay. Seek the light, lost one. Okay. Yeah, Carol, not everyone's gonna like the like every game the same way. Just because someone else thinks something doesn't mean that's you know universal thought. You know what I mean? People are gonna have different opinions from myself, and people are gonna have different opinion opinions from you. That's normal. That screech. Okay, where's my parries? Okay. early if i can time a lot of these parries right it's gonna make it so i can land a lot more damage on the regular it's just gonna you know lower my health every time i do it in the meantime or should i buy liza p or this i think liza p is overall a better game Not prepared for the uh, change up in the pacing there. Yup. Oh my god, the fat those made it so I couldn't parry. Oh my god, dude. Seek the light, lost one. My character's just like struggling under the rain of arrows. What's up, Steam? 
No, Isaac, no. What just happened there? Was I out of stamina? that does damage why wouldn't it That follow-up swing in the second phase is so much faster. Seek the light, lost one. Is Wolong Fallen Dynasty a good game? It's okay. It's all right. Uh, Jose, I just put this armor on, man. I put it on specifically for the holy defense in this area. You didn't miss anything there. Yeah. I was not ready for that. Nor that. The radiant build up. Add me, I boost you, I carry you, low ass. Get that egotistical shit out of here. I'm a big man on the internet. Add me, I'll help you, noob. Shut the hell up, idiot. <laughs> I'm not putting up with that today.
Damn. Damn again. What is this toxic AOE madness? What is all this? Oh, that still hits me. Okay. Some big swings there, lady. What is happening now? You have lasers as well. Just what everyone wanted to see. More lasers. Hey, what? did it. That hater gave me the energy I needed. <laughs> I feed off of your hates. I will incinerate your soul with holy fire for this profanation. But wait, there's more. Alright. And I'm dead. Yeah, and it says, now do it again, but on fire. <laughs> it very much so is, like, um... All the coolest bosses in this game... Well, I, I shouldn't say all. A lot of the coolest bosses in this game have, like, a like a dark side to them. They have, like, this radiant side and then this infernal side, right? So, man, um, I just don't really have good damage. What the hell am I supposed to do? What the hell am I supposed to do? None of this is daggers. Our daggers. None of this. 
Not a single one. Isn't that some shit? No dagger for you. Um, uh, let me think. Does anyone remember, and you can feel free to answer this question. Does anyone remember a few days ago, I went and got the key that cost 9,500 to open up the door with the bell over it. Remember that? Before I did that, where was I? I believe there was another path that I could have gone down. And I think the path that I'm going down now was actually intended for a little bit later in the game. I think that's definitely kind of adding up now, but I don't recall where that was. Does anyone here happen to recall where that was? What's up, Matt? How you doing? You can respec? Oh, hey, my character is very, very powerful in the stats for my level right now, though. What's up, McDanian? Hey, Mod X. Hey, Dano. Bell room. Yes, there is this. Um, this is uh, this is like this is where the path splits, though. This isn't where I like left off, I believe. Yeah, this is not where I left off. This is just where I went to get to where I am now. There's another area that I was going further into before I stopped to get the key. I had just defeated a boss, and it gave me a bunch of uh, currency to go buy the key, so I just did that. But I'm pretty sure there was more still to be had at the other area, is what I'm saying. Yeah, we're getting there, McDanian. We're getting there. Doing okay, Jesse. How are you? I just can't remember where that was. And I feel like the game does not put these vestiges in order in which you get them for some reason. I don't know why I feel that way. Windmill? We'll go check out Windmill. We'll go check it out. Hey guys, do me a favor. We have a lot of people here. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you leave a like on the video for me, okay? Leave a big like on the video. Let's see what this does for me. I don't know if this is any better, but... I, I just feel so severely underpowered in the area that I'm in. I'm getting one shot by things. Um, like that boss fight I was just in just felt a little bit out of touch for where, where my character is at. And that could largely to be to blame on the weapons I'm using, but yeah. Let's just go this way for a bit and see what happens. I mean, these enemies seem more in pace with my damage. 
Kerza, tier two, 17 months. Welcome back, dude. Welcome back, man. I appreciate it a lot. So fast was that Leprosarium vestige? All right, Corleonis. Remember that for me, dude. Remember that for me. So we can go back there if I need to, you know? Karazad, thank you for the continued big membership support, but I appreciate it loads. Thank you, man. Are you chasing me with your damn stick? Also, yeah, let me change this gear. <laughs> We put the putrid child set back on. Oh, that's so much better. Hey. I can see you. Thank you, Suzanne. I appreciate you liking and sharing. Inronger Guardian Fullard. And you have dogs. Oh, wow. Those dogs just insta died. Sir, you have a lot of ice on your axe. Oh, that, that, that gets me every time. Looks like they're trying to incentivize you to do this in the umbral realm. Because the water is kind of thick. Like your mom. Well, this is basic as hell. Okay, yeah, this area is definitely simpler than where I just was. Ah. The hell just blew up. Oh, oh, oh. That's what. Buddy Love, thank you for 15 months at Tier 2 as well. Josh, just so you know, these past two days were rough with no juice stream. I had to cope by drinking pumpkin spice ale. I have some pumpkin spice ale in the fridge as well. I haven't been able to have any because I've been sick. <laughs> Buddy Love, thank you for 15 months at Tier 2 membership, dude. It means a lot. Thank you for it, man. Look at that, a vestige. Thank you very much. Just passing by, buddy. Don't mention me. Or don't don't look at me rather. Antediluvian chisel. Alright. 
Well, that's a thing we got. I just remembered seeing that when I was in the uh, the umbral for a moment. Enter the Luvian chisel. Yeah, I'm just passing by, dude. Yeah. Passing on by. All right, 45 big HP. Oh, I never rested. What am I doing? Matt, they give the two bones judged by Jush. Yes. Yes, indeed. Where's Dobby at? He's somewhere around here. He's always somewhere. Um. Oh, there's the ladder. No, not yet, D4. The overwhelming morbid curiosity to try pumpkin spice flavored bacon from my local grocery store this month. Terrible decision. Listen, I love bacon and I love pumpkin and pumpkin spice. I don't think I would try ba uh, bacon flavored pumpkin nor vice versa. Pumpkin flavored bacon. I don't think I would do that. But thank you for being the, uh, the tester of that, the guinea pig. Thank you for confirming what we would all universally probably agree on. <laughs> all right, so this area is frozen. What do you love? They give the fiver. Pumpkin spice that was surprised to me how good and smooth it is. I was shocked. Might get some more this weekend. Yeah, dude, that. I used to, um, when I lived in New York, there was a, um, I don't know if they ship anywhere else, but it was called, like, Southern Tier Brewery. They make some interesting flavored ales and lagers. They have, like, like, a cinnamon bun ale, a pumpkin spice ale, stuff like that. They were very, very rich in flavor to the point where you could only really have one or two before you're kind of like riched out you know what i mean you know that feeling when you have too much rich richness in something and just kind of like overwhelms you it's like that but definitely uh something nice to have once in a while why are you why are you dodging so much you're not even attacking and you're stuck Frostbite salts. Interesting. Yo, Norby. Thank you for the gifted membership to Marius. Or is it Marius? Either way. Thank you very much for that, Norby. It's very kind. Very kind. Matt, thank you for a gifted member as well. Thank you very much. That one went on to Isaac. There you go, Isaac. Oh, there's a, an ice mage down there. Oh, boy. Surely this will go better than the fire mages did for us, right? Oh, you're not a mage, you're an archer. Bro, they're literally a frost version of the, the hounds, hound masters. Holy shit. Holy shit. Literally just a frost version of them. Damn it, dude.
Rob soldiers. <laughs> See that item in the distance. Thank you, Norby. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, buddy love. Enemies drop their weapons? Yeah. At least some of them can. Guys, thank you for over 200 likes on the video. I appreciate it. Thief of the Chill Curse. Thief. Thief. Yeah, thank you for your 200 likes on the video. If you haven't left a like on the video yet, it would mean a lot if you would. I know that I've been absent the last couple of days. I have been pretty damn sick. Pretty damn sick. But it's good to be back for now. Sorry if I seem low energy. I'm just trying to push through it. You know what I mean? Not yet, Keo. Why are you hitting the bridge? I'm gonna back up. Let's see if we can just get one of them at a time. That's the ticket right there. I actually like the ice attack animations there. play the new spider-man game when it comes out i am very uncertain about that i know it's just a couple days away but i just i'm not big on superhero stuff you know i'll be honest i'm just really not feeling it some chicken nuggets recommend this game i i would yeah i think this game is recommendable i enjoy it oh you little shit am i protected from the archer i am not that looks like a boss room to me. I'm not running in there. Oh, this is all really uh, unfortunate, isn't it? Damn. Oh, the archer just kind of stopped paying attention to me. Grief-bound dress. Well, there's no way back up there, so I'm missing out on that item for now. We can continue down this way. This... I don't know if this is a boss room or not. It just really looks like it to me. Let's roll the dice. 
See, I knew it, dude. I knew it. Now, what are you? Reef Brown Rowena. Okay, you're an Ice Mage. the hell, man? Okay, so I was frostbitten. Not great. just instantly appear no! <laughs> okay well then Well then, yeah, I would I would overall agree with that idea in QBB. Um, to add to that, I would say it mirrors a lot of what Dark Souls Two has going on, where you'll walk into a room and just be ganked by a bunch of things that you didn't see or have any opportunity to see until you walked fully into that room. This game has a lot of that sentiment going on for sure, which, you know. Believe it or not, a fair amount of people do enjoy. I don't think it's something I would ever say I don't enjoy. It's just every single area seems to do it over and over again, which definitely can make it tiresome. That's the that's the hard part. That was cold. Okay, dude. You're not wrong, but okay, bro. You know, the sun is hot, it's also bright. Come on, dude. We're gonna chase and chase. I think an another criticism I would have here is that the camera and the movement do not do a favors for one another. Constant contradictions to how they should work with, an with one another. Oh, get out of here. Oh, a follow up.
Would you say Diablo 4 is off the cards? Yeah, I'm not feeling Diablo at all. Hey, Reese. I should have planted a, uh, a seed further up, shouldn't I? <laughs> I should have planted a seed up there when I was up there. Do 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 do
Ach. Oh God. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. What was that? What? That was some bullshit. We have two heals. There's a boss in this room. Let's see if we can burn her. What the hell? I just take damage from being nearby you, huh? That's how it is? Go for three attacks, I guess. Oh. Holy shit, dude. Get one hit in. Uh, yeah, dude, this is so lame. <laughs> Holy hell. This is, uh, I'm going to say it. This is actually a really dumb fight. This, this enemy type is really dumb. I feel like you have to use throwables to be effective in this fight or, you know, magic in general. Just because her, her cast time is so quick. Oh god, I got caught. No! <laughs> that, that is, uh... That is dumb. How do I say links? There's links in the description down below. You could also type exclamation mark links in chat.
What's up, Aaron? Diclones, thank you for 18 months. Came by to leave a like. Work's busy, so hopefully I can catch more when I get off. Have a great stream. Sounds good, dude. Take it easy. Thank you for 18 months of membership, Diclones. Hope you're doing well. What is that cast time? Now just get in one hit and run away because that's all you get. Yep, that was bad timing. Oh, that still hit me! What the hell, man? Yeah. What in the awful gank is this? Ah, bad animation. Ah. Hey, Nami, how have you been? What up? Can't wait for the Ice Mage to become a regular enemy I have to deal with. That's going to be a fun time. Surely. into it. going for it. Oh, get the hell out of here. Okay. That was one of the worst fights in the entire game yet. That That is a terribly, terribly put together fight. 
It's not even a main fight by any means. It's just introducing another type of enemy. Which means we're going to see more of them. That's going to suck. What's up, Cole? Misery Missile, huh? New spell. Probably does wither damage. You know, I was thinking maybe I should just plant a seed there. Nah, I won't. I won't. What was this guy's movement is so strange. He's weird. Tundra Axe. I'm sorry to hear that, Cole, but at least you're here and hopefully we can take your mind off the world for a while. Is the painted world? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay, like game is better than other Souls games. If no, which one is better? I mean, it's it's its own experience. It it, it doesn't need to be compared. <laughs> It has some, you know, it takes some things from other games here and there, but it ultimately is its own unique thing. Alright, at least you're stuck there, I guess. Oh, dude, the way the dogs work in this game, I find to be so annoying. They'll specifically stall their advancements so the Houndmaster can, like, catch up and move forward. That bothers me so much. It, it's, it's decent design. They're making it so the Houndmaster is a part of the fight. You know what I mean? I get it. But it adds to the entire idea where every fight they feel needs to just be a gank fest. <laughs> just, holy shit, man. I don't want to be ganked. I just want one straight up 1v1. Please. Even after the dogs are dead, I don't get a 1v1. Are you seeing this? Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. All right, we're going to run by a lot of this madness. You ready? Are you ready, kids? Shit, that guy's still firing arrows at me.
Is it harder than Elden Ring? Uh, Boss-wise, I wouldn't say so, but basic enemy-wise, yes, just based on the sheer number of them. Mother bitch. Can I kick you off? I can. What's up, Calrid? So why would I want to be pulled that way? Uh-huh. That is why. Saintly quintessence? Saintly quintessence! Aha! Uh -huh. Secrets! I can't go back that way, so I guess we need to go all the way around again, which is fine. It's fine. Oh, yeah, there it is. There's the mage as the basic enemy. <laughs> there it is. Give me mo that, that words. Give me just a moment, guys. Wife just got home. I am distraction. Hi. Hi. Oh. Oh. Uh, I'm going to keep going this way. I'm going to go back the way that I just went because there was some more stuff there and I want to check that out. I knew, do know of the other path, obviously, with the item and stuff that we died of that freaking ice mage. I can wholeheartedly say already, just seeing two of them in, we're standing in the game. What's your favorite animal? Is this where I insert a mom joke? <laughs> no, honestly, I have no idea what my favorite animal is. I would say probably turtle, but I do enjoy my cat. Dobby's a good boy. Go. Yeah, we drop down here. We pull this. Oh, just here. Shield of Thunder, the Rallium Fragments, and Chicken Nuggets. Okay. And that drops down to the same spot. Alright, so it's good that we went that way too, so we can grab that, but ultimately it all goes to the same area. Alright. 
Well, I guess we're going to hit this so that we go back to the regular realm and then we run down that road. Yeah, they gave me chicken nuggies, but no dipping sauce, man. Isn't that some shit? All right, this mage better not have nearly as much health as the boss one. I swear to Bob. Okay, it doesn't have nearly as much health, but it does just as much damage. Oh my... Everything's fine. I'm holding back and it's making me dodge to the side. Very odd thing. A stone cluster. Hello there, sir. Major rule of thumb with this game, guys always check behind you. There's going to be an enemy there, guaranteed. Hey, Cactuar. <laughs> what the hell, dude? What is that? Okay. Yep. All right, man. Yep. More people appearing behind me. Oh my god. Do we have ranged weapons? Yeah, but I'm only using daggers. Um, boss room? Maybe? Maybe not. Sunken Beseecher. My face! <laughs> I was—I I can't believe I didn't see or hear him. That's on me, because I—you know—it's very clear that he's making audio. I can hear it now. But how did I not hear it before? That's on me, man. Oh, <laughs> get me out of here! <laughs> Hi, have you ever thought about doing walkthroughs like Cowboy does? Thanks and all the best. I have, and I don't know. If, I don't know, ma'am. 
like i part of me wants to make walkthroughs like that but the other part of me is like i stream so much that i'm not gonna have time to really do that effectively in order for me to make walkthroughs like that effectively i would have to stream a lot less but at least when games like that come out or you know games like this i should say when when they come out So that way I could focus on it, getting through the game as quickly as possible, and then, you know, working on all these videos. You know what I mean? That was, that was terrible. All right, we rectified it. We rectified it. Kinronger Rebel's Hammer. All right, so far in this area, we found an axe and a hammer. Or no, two axes and a hammer, right? Two axes and a hammer. What's up, Gabor? Yikes. Okay, that was so incredibly greedy of me. Guardian X and some nuggets, dude. Brother, could you not drop entire? Uh, what, what the hell would I call that? Giant icicles on my head. Oh, and now I can't seem to get there. There we go. Halting. Stalactites, yeah, but is that not rock? Is that not, you know, minerals turned to stone? This is just ice. Do I use spells? No. There we go. Okay, I'll take a free seed. Whew. 
anything hanging from the ceiling. Uh, I just I've never heard ice referred to the to to it that way. Okay. They can't even let you get a one on one with an enemy like this. They just summon everything. Come on over, friends. God damn. I think spells would have made it easier. Oh, yeah. I'd have range to take out down enemies like that a lot simpler. Another flower bed here. I guess I'll just use it. Why not? Keep making progression here. Progression. Yo, Black Sun, thank you for nine months of membership. Welcome back. Hope you're doing great. Welcome back. We've been let well the last couple days. Good to see you. Are the mobs annoying as most say? Uh, it's getting to that point for me, yeah. Yeah. Every fight is just uh, a gank fest, through and through. And like, I'm, I'm, I'm getting annoyed because I have to keep saying it. Like, I, I keep pointing it out. Like, hey, here's another, you know, ridiculous fight. <laughs> here's another ridiculous fight and another one. You know what I mean? Oh, that animation. That hit me. That, that hit me. We found, we found a dagger. Holy shit. We are clapping. We are praising. Oh my fuck. We found a dagger. Now, is it any, is it any good? Is it worth, <laughs> is, it, is it worth using? <laughs> the Kenronger hunter dagger and it uses strength and agility. I only have a whole bunch of points in agility. So... However, however, if you look on the bottom right... Uh, okay, so if you look at the Kinronger Hunter Dagger on the bottom right of the screen, the rectangle there, on the right side of that, it says a little 60 next to that blue icon, which I'm pretty sure is Frost. So this dagger can apply Frost. You know what? I think we're in a position where we're so desperate for a new weapon. I'm just going to take it. 
We're just gonna move forward until another rest area. And then whenever we hit that, we're gonna go take it, upgrade it, and use it and see what it does for my build. We'll just see, you know? We'll just see. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. I just walked into the room and instantly get attacked. I got hit without seeing what hit me. Oh, you killed your little, your little buddy. Another seed. We'll take that. Oh, you're, you're just going to stand here and not help the whole time? Okay, bro. Yeah, huddle up next to the fire that I made. You're welcome. Oh, that's better. Yeah. <laughs> My fingers and toes are going all tingly. How can I find out when you stream? If I am going to be streaming on a day, I'll be live at 4 p.m. Eastern time. You can also join my Discord as I send out notifications every time I go live there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I am, you know, first and foremost a streamer on this channel, so yeah. When I get to the castle, maybe me and Melkia could live there forever instead of moving somewhere new like we always do. I'd like to live in a castle. Maybe I'd like to live in a castle. That's all you have for me? That's all you have? Cole, thank you for a gifted member going out to Infar Lands. I appreciate it, dude. And Black Sun gifting a member to Mbanes99. Cole and Black Sun, thank you both very much. I appreciate your generosity. Thank you. Is there anything else here? Yeah, if I need to uh, respec a little bit, I don't know if I have any of the respec items, but I could just start putting points into um, the stats that I need to make this work, too. It's not a big deal. It scales both agility and strength, so... We should be able to make it work. As long as the scaling is equal on both, depending on how, you know, when we level it up, I guess we'll see. I'm gonna wait for the guy to get closer so we can do some drop damage on him. Never mind, it didn't work. You'll be super sick if you dropped another dagger for me.
Ah, oh, that attack hits me every time. In Ronger Guardian Helm. Oh, right on, Shark. That's good to know. Guys, we are one like away from 300. We're right there. Any likers? We got plenty of people here. We've got almost 500 people here right now. Make sure you hit the like button if you're here. It means a lot. Help support what I do in a major way with YouTube the way it is right now and not really recommending the things that they used to. Your likes will help push through that. And so, of course, I appreciate you leaving a like to help push my stream in front of more eyeballs. Helps the channel grow. Some more chicken nuggets. That's bait. Alright, we can create a rest point there. But do I do it? I do. All right, let's go level up this new dagger. Let's go. Let's go do it. Bren, thank you for the gifted membership. I appreciate it. What's going on, Luminosity? Are you absolutely only using daggers? Yes. Came in and liked. Hopefully helps. Thank you, Nicole. I appreciate it a lot. All right, King Ronger Hunter Dagger. It looks like it scales primarily on agility on the fact that it levels it up right away. All right, we're doing this. What are these at? Seven? Okay, I need more... More juice. Where are my skulls? Yeah, I know. I know, Richard, yeah. Three thousand five hundred for another level. I don't have enough uh, nuggets to do so. I guess depending on how much frost can do for me, this may not be great, but we'll we'll see. What's up, Shiny? Our holy work continues, Lamp Bearer. Yo, Night Hunter Nyx with five gifted Fellow members. Santa five Christ. gifted members. May divine radiance flow through me and into you. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you for that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Big. You got bleed in one of the starter daggers of the rune, don't you? No, that's not bleed. No, it's uh, more damage when dual wielding. I don't have any bleed runes.
All right, let's see how this goes. Game old or new, this one's new. Okay, so it looked like it did a little spike in damage, but I couldn't really tell. Oof. That was really bad. Okay, yeah, that's a decent spike in damage when it builds up all the way. That's pretty decent. Oh, they drop nuggets, apparently, too. These enemies are going to be very farmable, then. Glacier ring. Increase resistance to frostbite. I'm going to compare this to Demon Souls. This gameplay is good. Combats. Um, uh, I would say like the gameplay loop is very similar, except this game has a lot more ganks, but I will say the bosses are overall on the easier side for the most part. There are a few exceptions, but a lot of the bosses are generally like on the easier side, like uh, very similar to Demon Souls with a few exceptions. You know what I mean? Will you stop jumping? Oh my god. <laughs> that was some shit. Another dog behind this too. Yo, Dominic. They were five gifted members of the community. Incredibly kind. Incredibly generous. You as well. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you so very much. I wish it would show I wish it would show like a like a like a blue pop up with numbers for when the frostbite does damage itself. Instead of not, you know? So that way I can actually see the numerical values on the damage spike from it. So I could really wait whether, whether or not it's like worth it. Thank you again, Dominic. Yeah, see, I, I, every room you can just guarantee there's going to be someone looking to gank you. Yeah, that's a decent little spike in damage, though. Visibly on the health bar, that looks pretty good. Ouch.
Couldn't read it. Yeah, it happens so fast. You can only, like, eyeball it via the health bar. Like, the red on the health bar itself. I haven't played Lies, Lies of P nor this one. Which of the two should I jump on first? I think Lies of P is overall a better game. What's up, Easy Verts? Why are we not on the hardest difficulty? This game only has one difficulty, Timmy. Just like most other Souls likes. Anything else hidden in here? Nope, just, you know, the little imps, little demon monkeys. They weren't protecting anything. They just wanted to jump me if I went in the back corner, I guess. All right. All right. I guess we'll carry on then. Nice, Angelo. Well done, dude. Do I think this game is worth the money? I do. I am overall enjoying it. You know, I have been a little bit complainy about certain things today, but I just, I am enjoying the game overall. I just think like certain things about the game could have been massively improved, but they, you know, they went a certain route with it anyway. And that's all. Like, these constantly spawning enemies. Even, I know we're in the Umbro, but come on, man. That's a bit much. But overall, I am having a good time. But keep in mind that I am a major Souls-like enjoyer, so... Ancestor sword. Couldn't let me find another dagger, huh? Oh, I will say as well, um, something I would like to add here is, you know, I did find another dagger here finally, which is cool, but it was a drop off of an enemy and not like an area item. I, I want that very clear. It was not something that I found by picking up off the ground. It was something that an enemy dropped for me. I just want you all to be very aware of that. Putrid Child Sword. That's the sword that goes with my armor set. Can I play Death Stranding? No. I've never been interested in that game. I just don't find the appeal, to be honest. Oh my god, where did you go? Come here. Get in there. Yikes. 
me check out this sword because it is something that goes with my armor set. Putrid Child Sword. Yeah, that looks sick. That also does frost too. Damn, that's actually tight. That's actually really tight. <laughs> Bow of the mutilated, duralium fragments, and nuggets and ammunition satchels. Okie dokie. Danger here. There's a lot of items I'm leaving behind. I'm going to have to come back here. of a bitch. I did not think he would see me. All right, well, we're back in the umbral. We're back, baby. <laughs> Let's go grab these items, I guess. Why are there so many of you? I guess they really don't want me to collect all the stuff. Putrid pole arm. Okay, we found a putrid sword and a putrid pole arm. Theoretically, there should be a putrid dagger somewhere, right? Right? Theoretically? How am I getting up there? We need to get up on that thing. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Besides streaming, what else do you do? I have a wife and a cat and I read books and I play video games off stream as well. Yes, but practically no. Yeah, I think that's a fair thing to say. <laughs> yes, but practically nah. Okay, guys, before I head back in there, I'm going to go pee because I have to pee so bad. I think I'm liking this dagger, too. I think I'm liking it, so we'll stick with it. Uh, in the meantime, make sure you leave a like on the video if you haven't already. And I will see you in just a minute. Don't go anywhere.
All right, I am back. Now, about all these items that we uh, left behind. Where are they? Put the items in the bag. Put the items in the bag. What kind of books do you read? I read mostly sci-fi. Actually, just recently started reading um, The Expanse. Yeah, I timed that roll wrong. Why did I get some dead hits there? There we go. I don't know why it's doing that. Sometimes one of the daggers just does not connect. Okay, dude. someone make a game out of that uh the expanse yeah the story of drummer kamina drummer before the events of the expanse giving her more backstory but it is not like a major thing by anything like like it just tells the backstory of one character before the events of the books and show all right may as well rest here of my Dynasty Warriors? Yeah. I've never really been f uh, super fond of it. Dress. The last time we found one of these, we found a nice mage boss. Ugh. Terrible. Oh my god, you jumped further than I thought you were going to. Okay. Yikers. All right, and then here we have to go into the umbral. What was that, though? What did I just hear? Yo, Hardy, Hardy, what's up, man? Stopping by before I head off to work. Hey, maybe you're stopping by, man. Hope you've been great. It's good to see you. Oh! Gonna get smacked by this man. Great to see you, dude. Hello there. Hope work treats you well. Hell did this demon kid come from? Ow. Ow. Works right. Hope you're doing good too. Yeah, I'm doing okay, man. Recovering from a bit of a sickness, but otherwise, all right. Otherwise, I'm okay.
need to figure out how to get over on that. I guess I'm just going to have to kill every enemy in the area, even though they're going to keep respawning because it is the Umbral. But I think I'm going to have to kill every enemy in the area to really be able to find everything I'm trying to find. That actually killed him? Okay. <laughs> okay, men. And by kill everything in the area, I mean everything but the giant heads, I guess. What is this going to do? I don't know. Aurelium shards, we'll take that. Hey. Fighting two at once is kind of a nightmare. One at a time is fine. Two at once, not fine. There's a third around somewhere even yet. Oh my Christ. Oh good, you hurt each other. It's good to know. Yep, there's the third one, by the way. No! Oh, come on, bro! <laughs> Dental stuff are you getting? I, I gotta get all sorts of stuff done, man. But I'm not gonna talk about every procedure because, you know, talking about medical stuff on the internet just turns everyone into a doctor. And I am not ready for that. <laughs> I do not want everyone in the world to, you know, give me their horror stories or advices and stuff like that. I'm just going to listen to what the dentist says. I mean, I'm a nurse. I mean, that's cool, man. I was raised in a medical family as well. I helped my mom study for nursing school. I just have no interest in the conversation, bud. Jusha's hemorrhoids are no one's business but his own and his butts. <laughs> yeah, leave, leave my ass out of this. try to get one of these big head enemies out of the way as quickly as possible are you just are you loading what's going on here
Yeah, all three are awake. Okay, I, I'm just not fighting those then. I guess we just panic in the meantime. It's fine. I love panicking. Who doesn't love panicking? I did not mean to do that. Where'd he go? There you are. See, if I didn't fall, I wouldn't have taken damage. That's what depression looks like right there. <laughs> Thanks, Preston. Hope you're doing well, dude. There's a nice witch there. This might be progression area. I don't know if I want to go there yet. You actually got up top? I think I switched just saw me. this down earlier. Did I do this? My lord, I say once more, if you'd heed my skills, then also you should heed my warning. Can you do it or not? I know enough to try, but I made clear the risks both in the casting of the magic itself and what might be the results. Bring her back. I did not do that. See, this is bullshit. How the hell did you get up there? What? <laughs> it took me... Alter's time to figure out a way all the way around to get up there, and you guys just jump up? See, that's cheating. And that's that's just straight up cheating. You guys are mean. What is that bullshit? <laughs> oh yeah, hey bud. Your little um Your little What the fuck? You're a little bit in my way, is what I'm trying to say here. But then again, so is everyone, so. Oh, good. Good, good, good. I'm not stuck. Good, good, good. Talon. Fist weapon, I assume? Yes. Fist weapon, and it actually applies frost as well. Dude, the attack power for it starts at 110. The, the, the dagger started at like 76. What the shit, dude? Especially that thing scales real well. Oh, hey, brother. Didn't know you guys were here. I gotta go. I've gotta go. Hey, Bren, thank you for gifting a membership out to Ahura. I appreciate that, dude. Thank you very much, Bren. What the nice guy. Sorry. 
still default daggers. One of them. We actually found a dagger for the first time earlier. It applies frost as well. Thank you, Bren. Sorry, my my eye itches. There we go. My eye was a little bit itchy. Now, where was that other path that I found earlier? Where was that? There's an item on the other side of this as well. But I don't know how to get there. You mother bitch. Let's take a look around here. And I have no idea how I'm going to get up there. None at all. I deserve that. I deserve that. I could have easily walked by and, you know, been fine. Got to rub that eye soon so you see shapes and colors. Yup. That's the way it goes, dude. Yeah, for sure, Sofa. I do agree. I mentioned that on the first and second day of my playthrough. I feel like the game really doesn't allow you to really take in the setting of the world. The setting is really cool. Like these dark areas, you know, like they're really cool. But the game doesn't let you stop to appreciate that at all because you're just constantly being attacked by more and more spawning enemies at all times. definitely a major fallback and I feel like that lessens the efforts put into design of the world itself which feels bad What's up, Kai? Kill the enemies and then admire the world? You can't because then more enemies spawn. Yup. You gotta stay schmoving. I gotta remember where that other path was that led me out. Alright, I guess leaving the Umbra was a mistake. Corleonis, have a good night. I will see you later.
damn it, dude. Is this it? I think this is it. I found it. Yeah. Enemy up there. Uh, oh, hey, there you are. Archer as well? My god. Like, what is this? <laughs> what is this? Ganked indeed. Stop jumping so much, man. Yeah, it definitely adds to the uh, the dislike factor, Rake. I agree. I mean, overall, again, I am still having a good time. I just wish that the gang squads weren't so numerous. But I will say as well that um, I think it also is what makes the game difficult. If there wasn't so many gang squads, the game wouldn't be nearly as hard. So I guess that's just kind of part of what they're going for, adding to the difficulty. Callus, what's that? Am I safe to look at this or am I going to get ganked? I'm looking. We're rolling the dice. Increase agility attribute scaling. Yes, that's good. Yes. artificial difficulty i mean yeah i agree but that's just their philosophy that's just what they've gone with man i'm not defending it i'm just saying it is that what it is got me souls all right we know there's a archer right there so let's be mindful of that that chest right here hey demetrius thank you for nine months hey juice hope you're feeling better yeah i'm doing okay i'm getting there are you gonna continue your playthrough of balls of gate three i do not know yet man i still am unsure I am still unsure. I love the game through and through, but you know, YouTube is having a hard time recommending my channel out to as many people as it used to. 
and this is something that's universal across a lot of channels on youtube in general it's not just me it's just a universal issue right now and Baldur's gate was not exactly the most successful game on my channel and the last thing i want to do is something that hurts my channel further when youtube is already you know doing its worst So I'm creating a crossroad of things that I enjoy and, you know, YouTube will willingly push out to people. There we go. Yeah, Corin, we got a new dagger earlier. Yeah, we did from one of these guys, one of these uh, archer guys. So yeah, um, you know, I love Baldur's Gates and I enjoyed my time with it, but right now YouTube is kind of down in the dumps for performance for pretty much everyone except a few select people right now. So I'm just trying to keep things moving forward is all. Funny because the game isn't that popular on Steam. Player base is not reflective of content base. <laughs> Yeah, Corin, I uh, I had a little bit of a celebration when I found it earlier. <laughs> All right, that's a boss room. Okay, so there's that that vestige right there. So how are we going to get this item here? What are the red lights in the sky? Uh, Gondor's calling for aid. No, I think they're beacons of a deer powering up the uh, the felled god. Oh, duh. I forgot we could do this. What's up, soldier witch? How you doing, huh? No, 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 no. Let's not upgrade. Let's go to Skyrest. Where was Jush when Gondor fell? Ask your mother. <laughs> I am so funny. Ha ha, we are laughing at my terrible humor. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. There we go. Oh, you know what? I just realized. I wonder Ooh, I bet you this is affecting... This is this is what's messing up my mindset around this dagger. I just... Let me... Take that one out. Now let's look at these. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's much closer and a lot more realistic and makes me feel a lot better about this dagger. Okay. It was giving it basically another 20 attack power on this one, which made it seem like this one was so far behind scaling-wise. That's actually a lot better. What one did I just put in there? Increase agility attribute scaling. Let me switch these up. Let me put this one here. And then for this one, we'll do that.
All right, I like it. I like it. And then we do more agility, agility, uh, uh, yeah. A agility, <laughs> words are hard. Now let's go back to the vestige in which we were just at. Which, um, which one was it? Fuck, was it nest? I think it was nest. That one looks new. Stalker still looks better to you. The difference between Stalker and the new one that I have is the new one that I have does frost damage as well. It, uh, which causes a bit of a spike damage. That's the difference. Straight up damage wise, it is better, but it lacks the frost spike, which is the difference here. Okay, let's see what this is. Thank you for 400 likes on the video, guys. I appreciate it a lot. It's a gank fight. No way. What's happening here? Oh, you're going to make me go into the umbral to do damage, aren't you? Unless I can just hit it like this. Okay, I did wither damage to it. Pretty sure it's going to force me into going umbral in order to deal damage. Yep. Dude, will you stop jumping? Get me out of the ice. Okay. 
I feel like I've done that before, but I just got an achievement for defeating an enemy with an umbral finisher. I don't... Okay. I feel like I've done that a few times. Oh, right. <laughs> right. Yeah, a little bit of ice machine gun, yep. Yeah. So it is a gank fight, so we just need to, I guess, continue to clear out the waves of enemies and then she'll appear. We could do damage to her. Uh, Richard, yes, but I, I only have one soul flay. You can see the soul flay charges. That's the blue icon in the top left corner. So I can't keep doing that. In fact, even if you build up a bunch of Soul Flay charges, I don't think you could theoretically do a whole fight that way unless you just have absolutely monstrous damage. It doesn't let me do damage until all the enemies are dead, huh? Yep, you gotta kill all the enemies, she stops moving, and then you can damage her. What the hell, dude? She's sitting still, like, casting a spell, or, if, you know, if I defeat all the enemies, she'll, like, stop moving, and then I can deal damage. Okay. not the ice mages come on why must you hurt me like so or like this words are hard why must you do this to me two of them Jesus Christ. Oh, come on. I just healed. Of healing juice. Oh, get the hell out. Oh, that was 
so fest. So dead. This is just another gank fight, though. Like, I don't know. I don't know, man. Yeah, when you kill the girl, she kills the mobs, yep. can damage her while she's moving after all. Why didn't it let me do it earlier then? I attacked her the same way earlier and it didn't work. Oh, will you stop that? I have no idea what stopped my movement there. I have no idea. I am confusion. Was it a spike coming up underneath me, maybe? It's about my only thought. A little bit too close. On, launch some more frost bolts or whatever. No? Oh, alright, you're gonna wait until I get right up on you? That, that's fair. I understand. Alright. Moving forward. Oh, it looks like when these things cross over with these ice spikes, they explode in AoE. That's probably what stopped me earlier.
Yikes. It has one HP, dude. Are you kidding me? Oh no, I think it's dying. Never mind. Do I need to go kill it? Yep. <laughs> that was a little anticlimactic. <laughs> Whatever, it's done, dude. Whatever. Remembrance of the Hollow Crow. Thank you, thank you. Kinronger Leader's Axe. Really wanted to see the crow fight. That was the crow fighting. Casting magic and summoning Lucy. I did see that flower bed up there, but I'm hoping there's a vestige down this way. Ah, oh, we're going to change the color of the beacon. We're going down first. Never mind, that's a path out. Back up. Oh, Black Crystal, I will bet money that the final boss fight is going to be a gank fight, too. No one spoil it. I don't want to know for sure if it is one way or the other, but I would wager money on that. With how this game is gone, <laughs> I have every reason to think that. Duralium Chunk. That must be to max out a weapon. Hey, thank you, George. I appreciate the kindness. Thanks for joining me. Crossbow guy is the final boss. I believe you. <laughs> I believe you, dude. Final boss fight is just 20 crossbow guys sitting in a room in a circle, ganking you. Perfect. Lots of enemies, axes, swords, etc., and one dagger dropped by RNG. Yup. The Light Reaper's back. Oh, nice. I guess I should have uh, rested, huh? Ah. 
Bam. I'll give you these nuts. If I had heals, I could so take this guy. Every time I've encountered him was either like at the beginning of the game where, you know, you're meant to die to him or in like this moment where I have no heals. Back to the old dragon. the dragon takes damage <laughs> Give me that ramp. are you good that was an attack buildup. I was not aware. Oh! All right, dude. Disappointing. All right, dude. All right, bro. My God, the maniacal laughing. Okay, so from now on, I guess after every fight, I just I'm just gonna use a resting area because yes. I think I really could have. I, I think I really could have fought and killed him there if it were not for the lack of healing. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Unfortunate. But that's the way she goes. Give him the dick twist. The old dick twist. Twist his dick. He sure loves lamp. He does. He's very into lamp. <laughs> Carol, you should not spoil things like that, dude. Additional frostbite damage. I'll try it out. <gasps> So wait, did this just circle back to where I was earlier? I don't know. This whole area looks the same. Yes, it does. I just 
There we go. Oh. Okay. Shaman bow. flower bed well I guess uh, that's it for this area then huh it doesn't really go anywhere else it just kind of circles back on itself which we did get a up, we did get a weapon upgrade I would consider this a weapon upgrade So I guess we can go try to fight that other boss now. I don't know. I don't know. You're good, Carol. At least we know now, right? So the big issue that I'm having as well here is that I'm going to have to make my way back to that previous boss that we were at earlier at the beginning of stream today. Because the seed that I planted is going to be gone. Because every time you plant one, it replaces your previous one, I believe. So we have that on us. That's a thing. Let's go see if we can upgrade the weapon further. <laughs> we need six nuggets. I do not have six nuggets at all. I'm assuming the uh, the big thing is going to make it plus 10. And that's a thing. Dude, that talent starts at 131 attack power. That's just nuts. Better than a lot of swords. Crazy. Yeah, I need a I need a six piece chicken nuggy. So where was that one earlier? Was it Empyrean? Must have been Empyrean. Sure was Empyrean. All right, I'm gonna get one shot by these lasers. Unless I just... Oh. Don't shoot me in the back. Don't shoot me in the back. Everyone's grunting. Alright, plants the ground, baby. As one does. 
Let's try this boss again. Let's see how we do. Your uh, cloak is kind of going all over the place. It's kind of weirding me out a little bit, lady. I'd like to double up on my ow sentiments. Much pain. Oh, yeah, a lot of pain there. Okay. Yep. I, I didn't forget about the pain that I was going through. I just, you know. But the final boss? No, I highly doubt it. Why'd you play the new season of Diablo? I don't know, Brad. I don't know. Your armor's pretty badass. Why am I getting dead hits like that? I don't understand. That was almost bad. Oh, it closes back in? I was not aware of that. Okay. Well, now we are. In radiance, judgment. I was not aware that the flaming circle would close in on me. Now I know. Yeah, the hitboxes for some of these enemies are pretty terrible. Like, sometimes only one of my daggers will hit, sometimes neither of them will. Like, one, just one hit on that second slash there, for example. Yeah, it was terrible. Yikes. Oh, 
hits. You can actually hear only one dagger hitting, too, because instead of hearing smack, smack, you'll just hear smack or nothing. You'll just hear it whiff. Whoosh, whoosh. Like both those swings, only one dagger hit. I guess. Terrible. Seek the light, lost one. Was one dagger longer longer than the other? No, it was experiencing the same thing earlier with when both daggers were identical too. Very unfortunate. It's only against this specific character model that we have this problem against too, because we had it with the um those duo knights earlier, and now this lady. And then we had it with the frost guys as well, sometimes too. The uh, frost archers. You know what really sucks too is this boss is actually pretty easy to parry because the moves are so well telegraphed but you still get so punished for it because the way the parry mechanic works in this game that's another pretty depressing thing for me as someone that enjoys parrying a lot in games i just got a three out of four misses there like oh my god I like her lunge attack. That's pretty cool. All right, we got to remember this is going to go out and then come back in. Keep an eye on the wall. Roll back out of it. There we go. That caught us off guard last time. Good frostbite proc. Yeah, I wasn't sure what that was going to do. That was new. Now what are you doing? Wait, 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 wait. You left a thing in the ground there, lady. That threw me off. Did 
Dex weapon, gets, which gets its DPS from speed, only hits half the time. That's in need of patching. Yeah. Part of using smaller weapons that are like this is definitely, you know, less damage per hit, but more hits, you know? Just not a great circumstance here. Like, really pay attention to the impact. You can very easily tell when there's two hits versus one or none every swing. That was one hit. One hit, one hit. One hit, two hit. It's just strange, man. Expecting a ground pound, not a lunge. Uh, <laughs> that was kind of uh, get hit by one or the other. Counts as a hit on me? Okay, dude. Thanks for being here, Vey. Ow. Too early. of me. Oh. So it seems like her staff swings are going to be a little bit different phase two than they are phase one. During phase two, if you get behind her, her generally stop the staff swings. But in this phase, she just kind of keeps it going. I got her down to half health. Judgment. Have a good night, Bren. Thanks for chilling today, dude. I'll see you later. This has been the hardest boss so far. No, the, the, but the, 
the boss, <laughs> there we go. The boss that I struggled with the most was the Congregator of Flesh. I really struggled with that one. You see how she stopped swinging her staff when I got behind her? fast. One more. There we go. Nice frostbite proc. Now I'm walking through the holy barbed wire. Every time I immediately get into this phase, like, oh, right, she changed the staff mechanic. We dodge through and then back out. Can't see. <laughs> okay. Frostbite, very good, very good. I'm just gonna plant her staff in the ground somewhere, some shit, right? I feel like the camera zoomed out a little bit. Yeah, okay, it did. Probably because it's trying to highlight the staff. Whoa, buddy! Relax. You're going to hurt someone with that attitude. Ah. 
Oh, what? She just one shot me with that. In radiance, judgment. Have a good night, shark. Have a good night. I'm gonna have to put on some fire resist stuff. Because that was shit. The fact that that just one shot me is rather insane. There, that'll help. Also... Additional frostbite damage, do I need that or should I go fire defense? Oh. Alright. It just crashed the game and now there's an update? What? All right, dude. Okay, man. Sick. Sick, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Crash the game to update the crash issues. <laughs> How far in the game am I? 24.3 hours. Patch note says they added more daggers to the game. Imagine. Huh. Well, isn't that something? Same daggers, I have a new one. Found a new one earlier. Twenty four hours, Stuart. Oh, man. Update should not occur during the game. It was coincidental that the update happened at the same time, you know, that it came through for me at the same time that it crashed. The crash just happened, and the update was something that was already scheduled for the day. I'll never intentionally crash your game just to put out an update. That's not how it works. The only time that will be a thing is if it's a multiplayer-only game. In which case, they'll, you know, they'll make it so the servers go down. That was stupid.
How do you feel about this boss? This boss is definitely one of the cooler bosses in the game, uh, first and foremost, because it's not a freaking gank boss. It's just a proper one-on-one -on -one fight with a tough enemy, which this game severely should have done more. <laughs> it was a missed opportunity. Instead, they just included a bunch of gank bosses, man. I gotta stop swinging three times. What the? Frostbite. So did it go away last time because it was on a timer? Is that what happened? And yeah, must have. I guess it's on a timer too. Yeah. Considering how much health it has and how much shit is happening, I think it's best just to let the timer go. Come on, give me more frostbite. Ooh. Attack. Ooh. Whoa! Two new attacks back to back. God damn. Dude, I couldn't even see you. GG. Thorned Chalice. Ah! <sighs> 
All right, good talk. Make your cut, Ermengarde. Tomato filter. What's up, Leo? Make your cut, German guard. All right, same thing going on there. So, is there an alternate path out of this place? Surely there is, right? Surely. Oh, good, those guys are spawning. I'm happy for you. Uh. Well. Final boss? This is not the final boss, no. I will say it was apparently my final destination because I can't go anywhere else. <laughs> Obviously, I could use a vestige moth to get out, but still, you would think that they would include a way out somehow. So I'm looking around for it because I'm having a hard time spotting it just now. I like that the radiant light from the beacon is taking out the enemies, though. There's got to be something somewhere. There's no way they didn't include it somewhere. Is this it? No. It's got to be on one of these sides. Oh, here it is. Between the legs! Found it. Is that not a flower bed? All right, there better be a flower bed nearby because I feel like that other guy's gonna pop up. Oh, we have this one right here. Duh. You big doofus. Well, if it's circling in on itself that quickly, maybe it won't be. But I would, I would think that he would be somewhere around the beacons, because I usually see him soon after the beacons, you know? But he's not here. What's his name? The, um... The Light Keeper or something? All right. Alright. 
so from there, where would I go? Vitality's 45, yeah. He's got a parasite. Why wouldn't he? Uh, probably not Eagles fan. I'm really not into superhero stuff, dude. I'm doing okay, Sir Bob. How are you, man? So this is, this is where my confusion comes back to me because I cleared out all these areas and I don't know where to go next. I'm pretty sure I went from this area to get to Empyrean and that area circled back in on itself. So where the hell do I go? Yeah, I mean, I, I played the previous Spider-Man game that came out on PS4. I thought it was okay. I just... If I'm not in the mood for something, then I'm just not going to force myself to play it, even knowing that. Like, if I'm just not feeling it, then... If I were to start playing it, I would just end up... I would end up being a poopy pants. I would not be fun. And I'm not here to try to take anyone's fun away. Last thing I want to do is load up a game just to hate on it. I'm just not that guy. Here we fought a boss in here. I think if I go out here, it's just going to be a dead end. I remember there was like an item on a little path and that was it. Pretty sure. What about Wukong? I mean, that game doesn't even have a release date yet, right? Can't make plans around something that doesn't have a release date. I'm interested though. people blocking that path I remember that Alan Wake 2 yeah I'll be playing that too I think that's out on the 27th right all right that goes back that way Oh, 
That was almost bad. Solace? I can't say that I know what that is. And this is Empyrean, right? Yeah, so that, that area just leads straight through to there. So I guess I just have to figure out where to go from here now. And I have no idea. Imagine being the guy gathering farm drop rates. What do you mean, Wax Boy? What was the last boss you fought? I fought at um We went to Crow's Nest and then we fought a boss at the end of uh what the hell is it called? Empyrean. But now Empyrean's not even showing up here. Oh, it's because I'm in, in Empyrean. Never mind. Yeah, so Empyrean and then uh, Ness. Nice die clones. Hello. Still a red beacon? Yeah, I just don't, don't know how to get to it. Indie game starring Troy Baker? Yeah, I don't know what that is. I'll have to look into it. I think next is Upper Calrath and then Castle. How do we get to Upper Calrath then? And NPCs drop items. Usually there's a wiki to show what they drop in the percent chance. Oh, right. The guys that research that. Yeah. I mean, that's tedious, but some people love that shit. <laughs> Couldn't be me, but some people are really into it. On the way to the castle, a door is open at Skyrest. I had Skyrest on the brain, so I clicked rest. Brain no work good. That's not the one. All right. Thank you, Crusher. We live, we live. Either way, yes. Well, that door doesn't open for me. Is that the door you're talking about, or is it this one over here? Because I see that one up there, too. Uh, Urban, don't time out, Crusher. I asked chat that question. Well, that door doesn't open for me either. What did it say? Door doesn't open from this side? Yeah. Yeah, we gotta get the last tower beacon all the way over there. 
other side of this. I was thinking, oh, we go down that path right there. It'll lead us right around, but uh, we can't go through that. Use the bridge key here. See where this leads us. Oh, <laughs> right back in here. Okay. Let me see what these remembrances can give me. See if there's anything cool there. Hollow Crow, Dress of the Drowned, Mask of the Drowned, and Grieving Gaze. And then Judge Cleric. Radiant Sword, Cleric Spear, Corrupted Sword, Both Armor Sets, Briar Storm, Corrupted Banner Javelin, and Pyroclastic Stone. That was the one that one-shot me earlier. I think Tancred is still my favorite boss out of all these so far, but I will say I enjoyed fighting the Judge Cleric. That was cool, too. You know one of those? They're not daggers. Oh, shoot. Let me look at the eyes. I think we got a couple new ones. I like the slow idea. What does this one do? With the hell upon killing an enemy with a grievous strike. So earlier in the game, before I bought the umbra, uh, the the key that cost nine thousand five hundred vigor to unlock the bell doors, I was on another path. And I can't remember where that path was. I wasn't at the end of it yet, but I realized that I had just defeated a boss. I had enough currency to go buy the key and I was highly interested, so I did. And I can't remember where that path was. Try this. I mean, item being on the ground is a pretty, pretty good tell. Hopefully, that means I've not been here yet. Oh, 
Holy hell, big man. Alright, this doesn't look familiar at all. So I'm gonna go with this. And there's a couple items on the ground, and I'm not one to leave items behind very often, so... This 100% run? No. Man. I couldn't even move. What the hell, man? I'm usually able to parry all those. Not this time. It's been a while since I fought one of those guys. Likely means we'll see more. Ah, parasites. Okay, bro. Pledge to a deer. This one's bait. Oh, there's also the guy right there. Oh, Jesus Christ, <laughs> jump scare. <laughs> Actual jump scare moments. Dude, what? Why? Why is that a thing? Mr. Seed Plant, as in like a flower bed? Yeah, that was intentional. thought I was out of range of that. I guess not. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay. 
Yep, and now the gankening begins. I'm willing to fall off and take a little bit of damage to skip these dudes. That's a saintly quintessence. I need it. I'm leaving. Yeah, I often will skip flower beds if I find them to be too close to a vestige, so that way I can just move on a little bit further in the level. You can do that on a mimic? Yes. Yes, you can. Didn't want to dodge that, I guess. So wait, did I really just put myself in a dead end and use that, thinking I could go through that door? Now oh, some nuggets. We'll take them. Yo. Frost takes those guys out real quick. No, I, I have to imagine that door's openable. I'm just missing it. Like, there's no way it's not. Like, yeah, okay. I'm thinking with my lantern, my dear's authority. <laughs> Hey, there's a rune tablet. Nice you. Alright, before we go down, let's check this other room. Also, potentially that. Oh, fire puppies! I'm stuck on a wall. Ow, sir. Why didn't they explode? Why did they not explode? That's bait. Why does it seem like someone just flushed the toilet? What is happening? Oh, that that's why it's... Showing me enemies in the umbral. Alright, another flower bed. Alright, before I get... Uh, man, there's a couple different ways here. We can go up too, I think, right? I'm assuming both ways down will kind of eventually circle back to one another. Overseer sets. What are those bugs? They are moths. Umbral moths. They're like mimics. They try to bait you with an item and then you pick it up and they eat you and bring you into the umbral. Honored nobles and 
fellow visionaries. You placed your trust in me. And did I not deliver on all of my promises? Your coffers overflow. Your influence has never been greater. And your every little desire and indulgence are fulfilled. As you deserve. As it should be. And while there are those who look upon us with contempt, who call us decadent, callous, depraved, these are merely the ignorant and envious whinings of the irrelevant. And what you have achieved so far thanks to my guidance, well, that is merely the beginning. I think, I don't think she patted herself on the back hard enough there. I think maybe her ego could use a little bit more swelling. I don't know. That was a bed here. Okay, yeah, yeah, this is familiar. Yep, they do both end up in the same area. Nice. Swell that ego to the max. What up, Panda? Listen, man. What's going on around here? Door and vestige. All right, looks like we actually did find where we left off. I like it. I like it very much. All right, let's go see if this door opens. Need the sunless skein key to open this door. All right. To the key we go, I think. Yep. You have a parasite. I did not mean to do that. Get rid of the parasites. Thank you. That's all I ever wanted. What's up, Wenny? All right, all right, all right. Yo, Matthew, thank you for the five pounds, man. Thank you for the five pounds. Hey, Josh, how's it going? What's it like so far? Been debating getting it, but got the original and was disappointed. I would say this is better than the original, but it's not like a perfect game by any means. A lot of the difficulty just comes from the sheer number of enemies that the game throws at you. But I will say some of the boss fights are genuinely enjoyable, and that is why I play Souls likes, is I, I just enjoy tough boss fights. Right, there's a few bosses that I can name off the top of my head. Uh what's her name? Uh Hyeda. The Congregator of Flesh. The one that we just fought, the uh what was it? The Lord Lord Judge? Something like that.
And then uh, Tancred. Those were all very enjoyable boss fights. I would say playing this game was worth just those boss fights alone to me. see that item up there, but I don't see a way to get up there yet, so I'm assuming the path will lead us over there eventually. Because there is also a ladder. <laughs> I'd say this game is better than Lies of P. The only thing about this game that's better than Lies of P to me is the environment. I enjoy the environments in Lies of P as well, but I think this game's dark fantasy approach is uh, a one-up on that. Outside of that, I think Lies of P overall is a better game. Maybe the five pounds, Matthew. Nice, Jesse. Nice, dude. Oh, yeah, the drip is better here. I do like some of the drip in L Lies of P, but I do like the, uh, like the clothing in this game a lot, too. That still hit me. Damn. Lords of the... What a throw. You guys see that curve? Holy. Lords of the fashion. Ah. Ah. Okay. They got me. I fell for it. Ow. Okay, there's a guy right in front of me. I think we're just going to have to go Umbral mode. Oh boy, that's... That's rather damning. Yo, Matthew Stevens with the big five gifted members. Big. Thank you very much for that, dude. Very kind. Very kind. Uh, Jesse, I'm just running a daggers only build. Any daggers go. However, I've only found a couple, so... <laughs> Flower bed there. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ring of the First of the Beasts. Increase endurance attribute. Thank you very much for that, Matthew. I appreciate it a lot, man. Oh, this leads to this ladder. Hey, man. I'm guessing this will lead to the item. Yep. Enhanced fire grenade. I thought I lowered the ladder. 
Did that fireball cancel me out of the ladder drop? Aww. I need to go all the way around before I go out down that path. Hold up. It is actually impossible for me to get over there, and hopefully this drop does not kill me because it's not scripted this time. Okay, we're good. Sultan Adib, hello. New first time visiting the channel. Thanks for being here. Thanks for coming by. Did that actually cancel me out of this? No. This did something else entirely. Maybe it opened up that door down there? Because it, yeah, this makes sense that we pushed the ladder down. But I just saw lever and ladder. I just kind of connected them. Like my mind just put those together. So I think it opened up that door over there. And that's why I was able to walk in there earlier it adds up the way he face plants I know it's hilarious all right let's hit the vestige and then we'll continue down that path need more rebirth crystals I don't know if I found any yet personally Hey, Matthew, they were five pounds, and I appreciate you getting me past Godskin Noble. I nearly gave up Elden Ring on that, but now I've platinumed it, and I'm on my eighth playthrough. God damn, there you go. Hell yeah, I love to hear it, man. Thank you for the fiver. I'm glad that I can help you out, too. That's awesome, dude. My gank. How'd I not see you? Now. Oh, it's the other guy that didn't die. Shit, I didn't realize he didn't die. He actually came back to haunt me. That's my mistake. Shit, man. All right. Uh, Sultan, I started off with a exiled stalker. All right, that drops down. Changed from holy to umbral, and now I regret it. Hmm. Oh. The walls are going to touch me.
Okay, so we're going to have to go back through there in Umbral and check all that out. But this is where we're supposed to go. Oh, well this seems fun. What the shit, man? Go to the Umbral, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Interesting um, physics there, where it hit the guy closest to me, but not the one closer to the explosion itself. Unless my eyes completely deceive me on that, which of course is always possible, but... Look very odd. Hey, some nuggets. Narrator. They never got out of there. And I'm pretty sure this is where we entered that area. All right. Very good. The running attacks with the daggers blows. That sucks to say. I think the boss fights are easier than the normal enemies. A lot of the time I do agree, but some of the boss fights are still tough. They require a few tries to get through, and I find them fun because of that. The thing that I don't like the most is not so much that some of the bosses are easier than basic enemies and like the hordes of them, is that they, they made some of the boss fights just feel like a giant wave of enemies. Uh, that's something I just don't like. Well, we got spider webs everywhere. Sir, you seem to have a parasite. Oh, something's right in front of me. was that not apparently I wasn't close enough all right what do the parasites do they'll make it so like the enemy will rapidly heal or just not take damage at all and sometimes it'll be just nothing more than just a, a poise thing. Two additional catalyst slots. Hmm. 
Was this the other path that I wanted? Yes. Yes, it is. A lot of flower beds here. You son of a bitch. don't like that guy. Shortcut. That path will lead us right back to the uh, the vestige. All right. There's the uh, the giant head. Floating item in the sky over there. Did not mean to fall. Why won't you lock on to the thing I'm trying to lock on to? Disturb the giant skull. Don't do it. Right. Well, I'm not staying there. Floating across the water? No, I get that. I just, um... I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get it if I can't target it to throw something at it to knock the item out of it. Oh, you know what? I think I do know. Oh, no, that wouldn't make sense either. Never mind. Another item there. Let me see if I can just... Yep, that didn't work. What the shit, dude? Okay, the, the aiming arc changes. <laughs> but yeah, that doesn't work either. Maybe there will be, like, floating platforms there in the regular realm.
Yes, the items are still floating there. There's no way for me to get those. Unless I pull the lever, it drains the water, and they float down. There it is. There it is. Is the water poisonous still? Looks rather poisonous. It's not. Ring of Bones. Increase max equip load. Hmm. Well, there's there's for your heavy build, dude. Where the biggest hammer you can find. Alongside the biggest armor you can find. And another vestige. Hey, what's up, man? Where the hell's it gone? Whoever took it, I swear. This vestige, it, it marks where Katrin fell. She was a lamp bearer like you. But far more than that, she was... My love. I left a token here, and her memory. A pendant I gave her a long time ago, and now it's gone! Sag. It's all I have left! Katrin and I were both hallowed sentinels. It's hard to imagine now. She was... astounding. We fell in love, and we embraced what we had. Even though the Order forbids it. They found out and made sure we paid for our sin with agony. In the end, they thought we were dead. But it was only Katrin's heart stopped, and not for long, thanks to the umbral lamp. But even as a lamp bearer, eventually there came a day when she fell. And didn't rise again. I'll find the bastard who took that pendant. You find them first, you tell me. Understand? There'll be blood for this desecration. I'll find them. You find them? There'll be blood for this. He's angry. He's very angry. All right, guys, here's the deal. Tomorrow, I have a dentist appointment. I also have a dentist appointment on the 23rd, and I do not know what the situation is going to be like after the dental appointment. I don't know if I'm going to be in a whole bunch of pain. I don't know if uh, I'll experience no pain whatsoever. I just do not know. Uh, the dentist said that the things I'm getting done are different for different people based on, you know, their own experiences and all that. So that'll be my life tomorrow. And because of this, I'm not sure if I'll be streaming, okay? I am unsure if I'll be streaming because of this. I don't know if it's going to hurt to talk. I don't know if it's going to hurt to eat any of that. So we do not know. But, uh, you know, we'll find out. And if I, you know, if I don't plan on going live or if I do plan on going live, I will update everyone in Discord. And, of course, you'll see my stream at 4 p.m. Eastern time if I am going to be here. And we'll, you know, just kind of take it day by day based on this. I have been sick the last couple days as well. That's why I was not here for a couple days. And, of course, what the hell was that? That definitely kind of threw a twist into me completing this game before the dental stuff. But, you know, when you're sick, you're sick. It is what it is. So, I streamed today specifically because I wanted to make sure that everyone, you know, was aware of what's going on. Wanted to play more of this game. I missed you dudes. And I'm again, I'm not sure if I'm going to be here tomorrow. I do not know yet. I got to play it, you know, by, by the moment because of the situation. It is what it is. But yeah. Thank you all for tuning in today. I'm going to call it a night and go, you know, eat food. And then I got to go to bed because my appointment's super early in the morning. Super early tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed your stay. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for liking the video. Thank you for, you know, leaving a comment on the, uh, the video. Um, subscribing to the channel. Joining me. Just hanging out. It means a lot. Hope you guys enjoyed your time. And until next time, be excellent to each other. I will see you all soon.